Good afternoon everybody, it is Friday. I am coming to you in the afternoon. It's been quite a busy morning. I've been doing some worky bits and I also went to the garden center bright and early. Honestly, saw so many people when I was getting my morning coffee and I was just like, oh my God, I can't speak. I cannot speak. It was, it was early for me. But like I said, I've been to the garden center. I've actually been to two garden centers trying to get all the bits I need. I could not find the right like composty soil that I needed for love nor money so I've had to order it off of Amazon. I did actually find a garden centre that had it in stock but it was in a huge bag that I couldn't I couldn't carry so that was really really unsuccessful but I've picked up some new plants this one needs a little water so I need to get on with that I've kind of left everything in this tray from the garden centre just so I could kind of show you everything because otherwise I misplace things and then I forget about them but I picked up some little pots for growing stuff because I have tomato seeds, more tomato seeds. And I also <laughs> picked up pumpkin seeds today just for the lols to see if I could actually grow a pumpkin, which I think is so unlikely, but we'll see how we go. on. I also got little things that I can stick in my plants as they grow, fingers crossed they grow, and like write down what they are. I've got some actual like seed trays because I wasn't sure how far i was gonna get with this but i thought i'd prep for this maybe actually being something that i'm successful at <laughs> ambitious but we'll see i also picked up this pot i just needed a pot annoyingly to fit my rosemary plant in rosemary i can't say rosemary it's it's a really hard word for me to say weird this pot is the bane of my life because you have to get actually get a really giant pot for it to fit in like an unusually giant pot for what you would the size that you would think i'm really sad because it didn't fit into my diptyque candle jar which i washed out especially because i was really sure it was going to fit and it just doesn't by the tiniest amount but anyway i like to kind of put them in pots but keep them in their little like original pot because it's just easier to water them and let the excess drain out so annoyingly this doesn't fit as perfectly as i would have liked so i will be on the hunt for another pot for the bloody rosemary plant the garden center trip was very successful because <laughs> I picked up a little impromptu fruit tree. Look, my head is literally in right now. I found an orange tree and I couldn't resist. So yeah, I want an actual orange tree for my garden, but I'm gonna like call it on the fruit trees for the garden for a slight second, just until I know for sure. I'm having a meeting with Mike about the garden on Saturday. So I'll know kind of for sure what we're doing with the greenhouse, but until then I don't really wanna get too excited. But I did also pick up this plant which i really like more as an indoor plant it needs a little bit of plc because some of its leaves just look a little bit like dead but there are a couple of these and this was like the bigger of the two and i thought that this kind of tree with its very pale leaves would actually look really cute in the living room so i'm gonna give it a go yeah that has been my morning lots of garden related things so yeah i've had a makeupless morning i think i'm gonna keep it that way for the rest of the day my skin skin update i'm so sorry if this is boring for some of you today's video is going well i'm putting a video up today which will, will have been the last video that you guys saw and i talk quite a lot about my skin in it so i hope it's not too boring but i feel like i'm getting somewhere so all of these are like scars and one old spot and they're all like actually very flat but this is my last active spot and i have no new spots and i've had no new spots for about two days and i've been wearing makeup so that is i'm officially like gonna start eliminating that as one of the suspects although there is one makeup product that i'm just kind of like flagging as a potential i've been going back through old videos and i used to get spots like this back quite a while ago i just went through a phase and i'm actually thinking it could be a blush product that i put on my cheeks potentially but i'm gonna see how we go with it but i'm just flagging it as a potential but yeah on the whole the condition of it looks so good i just need no more spots to appear so that it gives my face time to heal because i feel like i'm actually getting somewhere if it carries on this way i'm gonna say that it's not coffee because i've still been having i've been having less but i've been having like a half coffee most days and it seems to be doing all right so we'll see how i get on but I'm gonna maybe try and change because I managed to get my white sweatshirt dirty at the garden centre, annoyingly. I'm gonna change, maybe just sort my hair out a little bit because I've got these like bits and they're really annoying me and my baby hairs are annoying me so I'm maybe gonna sort that out but leave 
my face with that makeup. Let me know which pot you think this should live in. This is a temporary solution. I would like to find one that is like this. Similar colouring, but maybe more of a rounded shape, a bit like the ones that are in my garden that the grape tree and the fig tree are in. Unfortunately, I've run out of those. They were left by the previous owner, so there it actually says on the bottom it's like made in Italy. I've just given this a wipe over, by the way, so that it's not like too grubby. But yeah, let me know. I'm going to switch this over and let me know which kind of temporary solution you think looks better. Okay, so basket or pot? Let me know. I am all ears because I don't know. I can't pick one. So I think tomorrow, if it's nice, my to-do list is definitely going to be painting the garden gate. So excited to do that. I'm going to try and repot my olive trees which i really should have done straight away because now i guarantee you there's going to be bugs living in that tree i'm going to do that because i've got the right soil and stuff for that so i'm going to do that and then i think if i can find the right pot size whilst i'm in b and q getting my sandpaper i will repot my orange tree i keep going to say olive tree orange tree and clean up some of those pots out there so i'm gonna have a proper gardening day tomorrow fingers crossed the weather stays as it says it's going to and if i get really lucky and my grow soil comes off of amazon then i'm also going to be getting my tomato plant on which i'm really excited about today is friday i'm looking a little bit more presentable than yesterday i'm quite enjoying it i never feel fully ready to start a vlog until i've got like a full face of makeup on but yeah feeling good today skin is the same as yesterday, nothing new to report, which is great. No new additions to my face. Feeling very, very happy about that. And this morning, I it's been a bit of a late start considering I got up really early. I stayed at Ryan's last night, so I had to travel back. And then my mom dropped Nala over and the day has just really run away with me. It took me, with the addition of my mom, like dropping Nala, it then took me, I think about an hour to do my makeup and there's not a lot of makeup on my face, but I've started on my garden gate. I've actually started sanding it down, I will show you what it's looking like so i did a little patch test here which you might be able to see it's taken really really well after a little bit of sanding and the rest is not sanded so i've started sanding the whole thing down which is definitely going to be a workout and it's also very noisy so i feel really really bad doing this because it's just not it's not a quiet activity but yeah i'm excited to have it all this color i think it's a really nice color and it will go really nicely with both brick and white so depending on what i want to do it's going to work really well and yeah i'm really really happy with that color choice for anyone that didn't see my last vlog this is the paint i'm using i'm actually really impressed with how much it like covers and stuff so yeah so far so good hello do you want to come and say hi 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 <laughs> you are just a sweetest you're gonna come watch me paint yeah yeah. done i've also started working on the frames as well but i think they've had their day a little bit so we'll see how that goes there is just dust everywhere i am dusty i need lunch because if i'm gonna do the back of the gate i'm gonna need some food in me because every time i stand up i go really lightheaded and dizzy so, that low blood pressure life
six hours later and I'm finally finished. Do I think it's gonna change my plans to get a proper like new modern gate next year? No. Did I enjoy it and really enjoy the time alone with my thoughts? Yes, I did. I literally didn't even have headphones in whilst I was doing that. Partly because deliveries arrive all the time and I don't hear the door. But yeah, I actually really enjoyed just like sitting with my thoughts for like six, literally six hours. But now I'm going to have a bath because <laughs> at least my paint matches my uh, place too. And me and this little one are going to chill. You're so pretty. I think, oh, sorry, what was that? <laughs> no, you can't lick that. No, do you want a stroke? As I was saying, I think it is gonna be a bath. I never have baths, but I think after today, I actually like, I need a bath, I need a good soak. It's gonna be a bath and takeaway kind of evening. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have a takeaway and sit and finish off my book. At the moment, I'm reading The Perfect Wife by JP Delaney. Love it love it so i've just wet my hair and had a pre-shower i just couldn't even think about having a bath or even sitting on my sofa without having like just a rinse <laughs> a first rinse i'm gonna use my halo body pad it's like an exfoliating pad later to get rid of like all the paint that just will not budge off of me and i'm going to take my makeup off now and i'm also going to put on a face mask face mask hair mask oh my god my brain is so dead I need food, my food is on the way. I'm gonna be using the Garnier Ultimate Blends Nourishing Hair Food, which is banana and shea, and it's, oh my God, so good. I really don't know if it does much for my hair. It claims to do a lot, I don't know, but the smell, guys, the smell, it makes me smell amazing. So for that, I will continue using it for the rest of my life. It smells incredible. Like I've, I've never smelled a hair mask this good. So yeah, I'm gonna pop that in, take my makeup off. And I'm just gonna chill on the sofa. I definitely, I can feel the fact that I need dinner because I can't speak. So I'm gonna be back with you at some point when I can talk to you. <laughs> My hair didn't grow at all during lockdown and all my friends hair was growing and just not mine and now it's like hi finally i am so happy but wish it wasn't as dead on the ends like i definitely definitely need a hair cut it's really not feeling its best i can't wait for my natural color to just all grow out it's gonna be amazing but yay my skin today is looking good I haven't washed my face yet but i'm about to but yeah it's looking good I can't wait for this like elimination strategy to start setting in. Basically, I just stripped everything out because my skin was just getting more and more ruined. And I just feel like I'm at a point where I'm a bit scared that these are just gonna permanently scar because my skin doesn't heal the way it used to. So I've stripped everything out and then at one month at a time, literally like the slowest process in the world, I'm gonna introduce things back in. Anyway, it is Saturday morning. I don't feel like I've really introed today very well. It's Saturday morning. I had the worst night's sleep. There were mosquitoes in my bedroom, which is literally so annoying. I thought I'd got one. There were a couple I didn't realize, and I thought I got one about one in the morning, and then one woke me up. I don't know how they wake you up, but one woke me up at about 5, 5.30. I think it started getting light, so it got more active, and I was just like, 
<sighs> yeah i managed to get back to sleep it is a gorgeous day outside like literally blue blue sky look at that blue sky it's so blue my camera's going fuzzy and i think this morning i am going to be deliberating over whether to start painting the wall white i keep backing and forthing over it the paint is in a bit of a state as you guys will have seen in the last vlog but i think it's salvageable because i think it's just one of the paint cans so i'm gonna try and maybe use the other one but um yeah i'm just kind of deliberating whether i want to spend another day painting because i was really feeling very achy last night so i'm kind of not sure whether another day is like gonna be better but i kind of just want to get it all over and done with so we shall see i'm not really sure what i'm doing today Step one of a productive day. I'm ready to hoover. I have cleaned my bathroom. I have cleaned the kitchen. So yeah, that is my morning. That is my Saturday morning. Thrilling, I know. I feel like I need one of these days. I think at the moment I've been like vlogging a lot and kind of neglecting other parts of my life and they're the really boring parts of my life that I don't really film. So yeah, I just feel like lots of little areas of my life need some TLC and I kind of feel a bit like I'm pouring from an empty cup at the moment, which is just yeah if this vlog has been a little bit like that that's why that is why but yeah brian's coming over in a bit he's gonna help me paint the wall so hopefully hopefully that part of the garden will be done by the end of the day so i've just got back from grabbing a coffee i've changed my outfit i'm wearing a bikini top from nadia anya's collaboration with marble swimwear it's actually reversible so it's like khaki on the other side and then i'm wearing my new in denim shorts which i just i love they're that perfect ratio of like tight at the waist and then like excess around the hips and i just love it and they're a really great length as well i've popped my hair up because i'm about to go and do some gardening i have backed out of painting the wall for now i just need to think about it a bit more i'm gonna wait until gardener mike <laughs> has come around this evening and kind of had a look over the garden and we can kind of come up with a more finite plan i think i need to move board the garden and just kind of create a more long-term plan and if i have time today i might also get around to painting just like the frame of the gate because it's still brown so i think i might do that but yeah just a really simple easy outfit it's very warm outside and i want to just repot some of my plants so i thought I just throw on something really easy that I don't mind getting like a little bit muddy that also caters for the warmer weather. I also have a H&M order that's just arrived. I've had a little peek in it because I was very excited. I'm gonna show you what is in this in the next vlog because I kind of want to do a whole separate focus on it and there's quite a few bits if I remember rightly. So I'm gonna save that for another date. So make sure you tune in. This one's back in the game. Hello. Marla was very excited to see you today. <laughs> so excited. You are so sweet. Please stop licking me. made me a little lunchtime snack of what is this veggie vegan vegan southern fried chicken mm. with his special hot sauce and coriander as you can see his was awful he hated it i'm so excited looks really good mine's empty i haven't had any maybe i should have something oh no <laughs>
Look at you, living your best life. She never sits outside. This is so cute. And this is why I decided to keep the greenhouse. This is real life, all of my face halos are drying on the radiator. I literally use a new one every single day because skin. This is my little tray of gardening stuff. Yeah, greenhouse is definitely necessary. But look, my orange tree is literally like, there's so many oranges on this, like you can see here. And it's got a new flower today, which I'm so happy about. This little one here, so cute. I think the orange tree is my fave. Keeping the greenhouse as well, not ideal. I keep looking at the garden and my original plans for the garden have now changed. That bit of hair. <laughs> my original plans for the garden have now changed so much because of it. So I'm kind of in a state of like uncertainty um, because I really did want to paint this wall a white colour. And I thought the wall would look really cool with the grapevine growing up here. And then I also wanted to get some pink, I, th I think they're called like bulvinia. Susie's pronunciation, never on point. I really need to Google these things and use the sound like feature. <laughs> I'm gonna do that because I actually wanna know how you pronounce it. I think if I'm going to paint the greenhouse black, like I want the edging, just the edging to be black, I think it would modernize it a little bit better, potentially. Not definite yet because I need to speak to Gardner Mike. But I do think the black greenhouse kind of will work better with a brick wall. Like it's a bit more of a, I don't know, it's not the, the vibe of my house. So I kind of struggle with that a little bit because I wanted everything to kind of be very cohesive, but a greenhouse just isn't an Ibiza vibe. So I think I'm just gonna have to have the garden as a slightly different vibe because I really like growing vegetables was always something I kind of wanted to do. So I think I'm just gonna have to accept that maybe the garden isn't the perfect vibe that matches the rest of the house because let's face it, if the vibe was perfect, I'd have a swimming pool and that's so unnecessary and money. No. So, with that in mind, I feel like the wall might stay the original brick. I'm still gonna grow the pink flowers up here and the grapevine, because I think the grapevine will just look amazing. But yeah, I think I might keep the garden a bit more like rustic-y. I just really didn't want it to look too country esque like i don't live in the countryside i live like in a seaside town so it just makes sense for like the vibe that i've got is like quite beachy and i really wanted that to flow through everywhere but i'm gonna go to pinterest and have a look and see what it's saying because maybe something will inspire me but ryan and i were also just talking about we're gonna grow stuff in the greenhouse but also having like maybe some raised beds in this barren land that is here because stuff tends to grow really really well on the left hand side of the garden so i think we're gonna have some raised beds built and put there and then maybe turf around it or like gravel around it just to sort that area out but i just think it will look cool and if i want to grow anything that's like slightly bigger because that greenhouse isn't huge i think i'll still get the use out of it and then it just makes that space so much nicer because i really i'm not a flower girl i don't want to grow flowers in my garden maybe that'll change and if it does the right hand side of the garden is where those will be at but yeah i think i really want a little vegetable garden here and i was originally going to put it up the back behind the greenhouse so you couldn't see it and now i'm thinking like no it should be near the door because if it's raining because it always rains in the uk i can just nip out and that makes so much sense anyway this is a long like four minute chat on my garden but i've just spent a lot of time out there this afternoon and i really love it but yeah i feel like the vegetable growing part of gardening is very rewarding but the rest of it i don't love so i think i'm gonna kind of make more of a feature of the vegetable growing and like with the greenhouse and stuff and then keep everything else quite minimal because i do think when you're like growing veggies and then trying to maintain a garden it's not the easiest especially when i don't have a, a ton of free time lockdown is meant to have more free time but realistically over the next few years i'm not going to get more i'm not going to have more free time so i need to manage this carefully so yeah anyway that is my thoughts i just get a bit like sad when i like do all my gardening stuff for my veggies and then the rest of the garden is just looking a bit sad so yeah excited to chat with gardener mike later <laughs> i don't know how he's gonna feel about me calling him gardener mike in the vlogs but we're gonna roll with it and we'll see what he says and hopefully in august we'll have a little mini transformation coming up but yeah your girl needs to get in the shower and take an anti-back cloth to her vlogging camera <laughs> and then it is time for pizza and when i say pizza I mean dairy-free pizza because that is my life now. Good morning. I have moved an old mirror into the living room because Ryan is in bed. But I wanted to quickly show you my outfit of the day before I go to the garden centre. Again. Mm -hmm. 
I know, I'm wearing this set from New In. I've already managed to get something on it and I've literally been in it like two seconds. So yeah, this set from New In, I really love it. It's like a ribbed kind of knit effect. It's really, really cute. It also comes with a matching jumper, which is great just for layering. Like, especially during the summer, you can wear this, take the jumper off. You've got the little crop underneath. It's so great. And then I'm wearing my YSL sliders and I'm going to go with my Fendi bag. Always, this has been my number one lockdown companion i love this bag so much so today i think i'm going to try and get a giant pot for my lemon tree because i want to repot that i think it's going to be like a task and a half but i really want to do it because i think it will grow a lot better and it will just look nicer as well and then i also want to get a little tray for this so that i can repot it into that and then actually just like water it inside but it won't like spill water everywhere and what else did i want to get i really need to make a list because i'm going to be so annoyed at myself if i forget things so i'm at the garden center and i found some more absolute bargains in the sales section oh my god i'm so happy with these i've got so many pots naomi's here <laughs> she's loving life she's my new favorite person to bring to the garden center gardener mike is going to blame me for this sorry mike so i had a lot of fun at the garden center say hello to my new lime tree to go with the lemon tree i sadly lost one in the car so my g t life is officially going to be fulfilled this is gonna be so great and um i spoke to mike last night and i'm gonna give you the full rundown of the garden plans let me move back a little bit so the greenhouse like i've said multiple times is just going to be painted and i'm going to work on the interior myself i think we're going to clean it up a little bit on the inside but then i'll like deck it out i want to continue the theme of like rustic wood and stone and kind of have that going into there maybe some cute lights for like the winter time there's an account that i found and she has the most incredible greenhouse it's made of wood and it's out in the countryside so a little bit of a different vibe but i can definitely go with something like that in this garden i really like the idea of painting this black as well because it reminds me of like crittle style doors and stuff like that so i think it's going to be really great i think this is going to stay brick for good i think we've committed and with this bed here these are really awkward curved flower beds what we're going to do is bring this out a little bit which is definitely not what i originally thought i would ever be doing here but we're going to bring it out a little bit and then i'm going to have a big long flower bed that takes up almost the width of this and then i think we'll maybe gravel a little bit around it just to neaten it up and then have a big vegetable bed in the middle basically for things that that greenhouse isn't the biggest so for hardier things and bigger things they're definitely going to go here and then i'll let this continue to grow up the wall the lime tree is going to go over this side we're going to take this flower bed take this flower bed out but keep the flower bed so we'll do sleepers and have this as more of a flower bed that's more trees and kind of plants that are a little bit more low maintenance because i trim these bushes so regularly and they're already like out of control so maybe like succulents and just have it looking very very neat the grass is being re-turfed when we originally spoke i thought we were just re-turfing where we were like taking the greenhouse out but actually i got it mixed up and the plan was to re-turf the whole lawn which is amazing so it's going to look beautiful and then patio up the back and a screen fence along the back and we're getting rid of the prison break tombstone i'm so excited my olive trees that i repotted yesterday are looking really happy like it's hot and normally they would be a bit like droopy on the top when it's this warm and this sunny but they're looking really happy and they look so much neater now that i have repotted them into these pots i'm so happy with it even that one that one normally looks quite sad it's looking very very happy and we have tiny tiny olives <laughs> you have no idea how excited this makes me so yeah those are my final plans the official plans for the garden i'm so excited now i need to get ready and get changed out of my skirt because i'm gonna go for a walk with the girls i am also gonna go back to the garden center on i don't know some point midweek this week because there was something that we're gonna need a van for that wouldn't fit in my <laughs> it wouldn't fit in my car and it's going to be like the only thing that i'm able to pick up from the garden center because it's heavy so i'm not going to tell you what it is i might show you in the next vlog Good evening, everybody i'm back from my walk taking my makeup off had some dinner had a curry it was so good i'm so tired i've done more steps today than i've done i think in the past month <laughs> no i've done more steps today though like on average than i would normally like maybe like triple quadruple how many so i am 
so tired um, and I was falling asleep on the sofa so I thought that I would quickly come on here and show you what I picked up in the garden center and like I said earlier very very excited to show you hopefully what I will be getting this week but in the meantime I got some amazing like little bargains and I'm just really happy with everything and yeah so I got these two huge stone pots like they are the heaviest things I have ever lifted they are ridiculous they are just amazing the most gorgeous like rustic stone and these were on sale they were 50 percent off like honestly they're so heavy and i wasn't sure like they didn't actually have a price tag on them and i was like Do you know what i'm just gonna risk it i don't know how much they're on sale for but i really want them and i would have paid full, full price anyway so we'll just see and they came out at 17 pounds each which was incredible this one here was 24 pounds which is still so great i also picked up this eucalyptus plant which i'm so happy with because i've wanted a eucalyptus plant for so long and like i've i think i've been saying throughout lockdown but they're really really hard to find like it's just hard to get like single cuts of eucalyptus let alone a plant so so happy with that because this is the kind of thing that if it grew more i would cut bits off and actually like put them in a vase so i'm so happy but then also picked up a lot of these trays i've got a small orange one which the plant in the living room fits perfectly on so so happy about that i also have been eyeing up this little spade i just have like a normal one from like being cute that's really boring but this one was really cute and on sale for like three pounds so i picked it up so yeah i've got quite a few of these trays and then i also picked up this matching little clay set but in this kind of off-white which i love and i thought i'd pick one up and see how i go but i think once things start growing a bit more i might lean towards lots of the ones that are indoors on my shelf being in this white and see if i can get some bigger versions of these because i just think they're really really sweet and very nice and neutral which you guys know i love it was 65p i don't know if you can see that 65p which is amazing but yeah that's gonna be it for today's vlog i hope you guys have enjoyed this and like i said the gardening chat was not too boring my next video will probably be a bit more like fashiony and just like general life so hopefully you'll enjoy that if you didn't enjoy this one so much i'm feeling a bit better already i know at the start of this vlog i really felt like i had nothing to give and this weekend has definitely been good for me even though i haven't been like off it's definitely helped a little bit so hopefully i'll be back to my normal self very soon but thank you for bearing with me in the meantime because i really feel like i don't know this vlog might be fine it might seem fine once we've finished editing it but it's definitely been a struggle of a week and to be honest we will have them and you just got to ride it out but yeah i really hope you guys have enjoyed this regardless and i will see you guys again well i'll see you tomorrow but i'll see you again on thursday love you bye